Josh, you're telling yeah. me that there is going to be car news? Not a lot, but yeah, some. There's going to be racing game news? Yeah. And motorsports news? All right here every week on The Talk Show. This the collection. is the first ever episode under the new name of The Talk Show. Uh, previously, we, we got like a X formerly Twitter. If we're ever talking, it's, it's, uh, it's the, the Talk Show brackets formerly Stick Drift. Um, yeah. Yes, this was previously the Stick Drift podcast, but we did in the end decide that uh, we needed a rebrand. I think I I forget when it was. I think people had just mentioned how there it's was. It's been just... a while, really. Yeah. The I there... mean the logo was a hand. Like you had traced a <laughs> yeah. thumbstick. So I, I I took a picture in the crew two. And then, yeah, I hand uh, drew that picture. I hand traced that picture. And then I yeah, hand traced a thumbstick and then I just put that up. The, the idea was so old for Stick Drift. We were like, oh, what if we had like a, a crew based podcast yeah. way back when? And it was like, we call it Stick Drift. Um, but then, it, you know, then I had this idea of doing a, a car themed one instead. And. Uh, I had a podcast previously. That one fell through for like completely external reasons, and then uh, I was just like, "Yeah, a podcast would be good to have." And uh, although Josh can't do a podcast when it's just <laughs> talking about current day nonsense, um, <laughs> which uh, did try an episode with him on uh, what was the Animosity podcast, uh, but I can slander some cars. That's he can slander some cars. So That's all I'm good at. We're here uh, now on uh, Stick Drift, which obviously I set it up. I. I put it up, and then and then we were and then we were the Stick Drift podcast until it just realized that it just wasn't it wasn't up to par. It wasn't up to quality. Like even my other profile pictures and stuff, you know, they had a bit more had a bit more prestige. Oh, you say like the Sid logo like was in knocking on retirement's door at this point. That's what <laughs> three years old. I thought about it, you know. I thought about it. I was like, do I am I at the point where I need to update the the Sid Wash logo? Because I just... What's the Brickwash logo look like? I don't the, know. Oh, that one was just like AI generated. I I just... I, I, I whacked into AI what I wanted and oh, it just I spat out... Knocked out my keyword. It yeah. spat out the perfect logo. Well, it, it didn't. It put like a big brick built wolf above it, which I then went into... <laughs> <laughs> I went into Photoshop myself and edited out. But uh, yeah, no, the Brickwash one is clean. All things considered. Um, I mean, the, the clip watch. A thumbnail, a thumbnail. What is it? The profile, profile picture, picture. Is basically the same as the Sid Watch one. <laughs> yeah, but you know, yeah. it's, that was from a different era. But then the, the 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 stick drift one again. That was that one was in the bank for ages until it was finally used. And then it just it just yeah, it kind of hit me of, of the tackiness of it, but also the fact that kind of wasn't car related. You know, there wasn't really a skirting around it. It was stick drift. You know, maybe if it was stick shift, then it would actually be okay. A little car, car related vaguely, but that would have been a banger. It just kind of was just, just, just stick drift. It's a complete gaming related thing. In fact, yeah. On that same thing, uh, I bet something you didn't know is that we have a Reddit, right? And on this Reddit is one of the perfect reasons for this to have been updated. See, we got a few posts on this Reddit. The Sid Watch Reddit or the Stick Drift Reddit that's now talk? We have a Stick Drift Reddit. That's a, when that's was this a thing. mate? I was never made aware of this. Yeah, I, I made this, I, I think in the middle of a Reddit video is when I made this. Like right at the end of a uh, a Reddit video. Does it have any moderators? Because I'm not in it. It, do it doesn't, no, it doesn't. Um, <laughs> it has yeah. no moderators. But the posts on there were someone who saw a... Uh, this thing they 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 spotted a a, a BMW specifically uh, an E46 uh, and they posted that in the Reddit. Someone posted. I like the M stripes on it. Yep, yep. Someone posted 
is there is there anything else actually relevant that anyone has? Posted? I can't imagine anyone's posted anything in there because you've never mentioned it. <laughs> no, yeah, but then you know what the issue is? Completely without me saying anything. His. Let me read some of the other posts on this Reddit. I recently dropped my new controller for the first time, not that far off the couch, and now uh, using my right joystick, it turns slowly to the left, then right. <clears throat> Post from one month ago. So my damn controller got horrible stick drift, and I would like it. I would like to know what type of uh, brad brads are good to replace a whole joystick. Yada yada yada. Uh, Post from again a month ago. This one might be car related. I was breaking the controllers a month ago. Yeah, yeah. This one might be car related. Hopefully, this one will be car related. I have a PS5 controller that got stick drift, and I kept the original joystick and only changed out the. Essentially, <laughs> big confusion. Clearly. Um, yeah, yeah. But it's got nine members. I mean, clearly he's gonna be have to be put in the mud. I don't think you can change the name of a podcast of a, of a Reddit. I don't. Oh, I have no idea how a a Reddit works. Is that a thing you can do? I don't know. I don't think you can change that. Whatever, though, right? But that was one of the things. Stick Drift was just too gaming-related. It was just too not car-related. In fact, speaking of... uh... Speaking of stick drift and changes and whatnot, hey boys, look at look at look at this. I know it's a podcast, but look at this. We have a new screen because people complained that when uh, we have something up on screen, you can barely see it. So now you can actually see stuff on screen. Look at that. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. Um, but yes, there 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 was issues with the podcast just not being uh, anything to do with cars, name wise. So then. In the end, I decided it shall be renamed. And we went through so many names. So many names that were shortlisted to be like, this This is it. This is the one that we should go with. There was like, um, yeah, Short Shift, uh, Checkpoint Podcast, uh, Break Check. There was, oh, what else? What else do we have? What were some other names you remember? Like, I remember Whiplash because it was a Fortnite skin. But, uh... <laughs> Whiplash, I guess. We had... Just so many different names that we that we ran through as potential names for the podcast. Until in the end, we were like, most of these are taken. Some of them were pretty bad. Um, and I, I believe we were just out. We were out with cameraman Dylan at the at the British Motor Museum. Tucked at the British Motor Museum 2024. Yeah. Uh, tucked these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh-huh. We were at the British Motor Museum, and we were just kind of discussing this, the fact that the podcast is going to get rebrand and whatnot, and um, and all of it's going to get a rebrand. Dylan finally saw the vision, because for the entire time, he hadn't seen the vision. I didn't realize he hadn't seen the vision. He was like, you know, put it on the main channel, stuff like that. And, and I realized it's because he wasn't seeing the vision. And then he finally clocked the vision of it being its own thing. Um... And he started spitballing some names. He started chucking them out. Even he was like, hey, it's a bit too gaming related. Because there was a rebrand made before this. So... Was there? Yeah, so the, 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 this whole rebrand... Oh, yeah. There was yeah. the Stick Drift rebrand still. So you'll, you'll definitely recognize it if you... Uh, yeah. If you uh, know what the current logo is, obviously. But if I can find it... There was a potential rebrand made before with the Stick Drift logo like this uh, before. That's, a, that's an official Stick Drift Fender bulk livery on Crew Yeah, Motorfest. yeah, on, on the Crew Motorfest, you can actually go on the bulk and find this because it does exist as a uh, as, a, as a livery. Uh, a, on a legacy, recent. Yeah, a, a legacy rare Stick Drifter logo. But then, yeah, then, then I think Dylan just mentioned how it just looked too video gamey. And I was like, yeah, it does kind of look a bit too goddamn video gamey. So we rebranded, and then he just kind of spitballing through names. Some were pretty bad. Some were most, were, most were pretty bad. And he mentioned talk, and he quite liked it. And I don't think either of us were sold. Oh, I'm still not a fan. Yeah, <laughs> until... Uh, don't worry, there's people who agree. Uh, until I mentioned the talk show. And that was what sold me on it. The talk show just... Because that's what I wanted. The main reason... The, the reason I wanted break check and um, anything else. Like, like they, they're even... Whatever. Just, just like, car-related. But, like, with a pun. 
That's all I wanted from the beginning. And thus, we have the... Uh, it is raining so hard and so windy all of a sudden. Um, it like is... My curtains are shut. I'll imagine it's raining here as well. Yeah, but it, that's what we ended up going with. We went with the talk show and talk for the... Um, for the for the for the long uh, delayed uh, IRL content, but um, it's now become IRL. You know what I keep forgetting is that I wanted to do not just IRL. I forgot that like you know we could just watch a movie and then I, and then laugh about it, joke about it, fair use of enough, and then bloody chuck that up, and then um, and playing old video games, old uh, racing games. Completely forgot that that's some stuff that one would actually be a lot easier to do. So. Could actually do it. Better not be an old Ubisoft game because it won't launch. <laughs> yeah. Um, and thus we are now the talk show. But people did have some choice words for the talk show. Posted the announcement video. We did get nice from EOAS. We got uh, rip the stick drift podcast from Maximilian. We got happy wiggle worm with honestly better than stick drift. Still sucks. <laughs> then we got uh, Deli uh, Rotia. Honestly, I don't like the name. Um, and then Enzanorm, who called us out and said, um, totally not scripted, which um, I, I did. I did. What? what? That was a natural I, conversation I that we had in that, that announcement real. video. It was a, it was a real announcement and, um, and, and a regular scenario that me and Josh went through. Uh, and and devalidating us with that, our experiences, it's not going to go unnoticed. Just happened to be a clip of a normal conversation that was happening in that. Yeah, whoopsie! I wait. I recorded that. Oh, hey, when that happens. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I think it's a it's 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 a it's a much more marketable name. It's a much more brandable name. I like the logo. I'm a put it on an embroidered cap soon and then i finally because i've needed a cap for a while bucket hat. uh i could make a, a bucket hat would go hard a talk bucket hat that's all i'm, that's all I'm saying uh, especially embroidered white outline and all you know you got the i might have to do a talk bucket hat um but yeah that's definitely gonna be done i mean that, i'm just doing that for me i don't know if you guys would want a, a talk bucket hat. speaking of you guys welcome back to I the podcast <laughs> um leave a like uh, share the podcast, uh, review it on Spotify. Is that what you do on Spotify? Can you review? Yeah, do, do the Spotify. Apparently, it asks them like, "What did you think of the episode?" And then people people do answer. Like they they answer with like pretty insightful things sometimes. I don't. I just. I just we don't. We don't. It's just. I don't know how you see that, but I'll imagine it's I very can, insightful. <laughs> I can see it on Anchor or Spotify for podcasters, like on the Stop with the Nissan GTR episode fifty five of the podcast. Um, <laughs> Ex ex Xav Horst said Exivic Wagon to what did you think of the podcast? Um, and then on the awards show, someone put Tesla owners are like Jeep owners, coping about how their cars has one good thing about them. Tesla say it's because it's faster than yours, and Jeeps are like because it goes off road. I'm a Jeep owner. You know what? I'm, I can vouch for that. Uh, both cope, both uh, one good thing. I actually, in my comments... Uh, it's a stock Jeep... What's the one we get in the UK? The really horrible one. Oh, what, the Wrangler? Wrangler. It's the new one. Oh, the... what, Cherokee? The, the, the SUV? The generic SUV? That's the one. Yeah. Can that, can that go off road? Uh, that one can't, to be fair. No. <laughs> but, hey... So, I... what is that I've got for? It? <laughs> <laughs> I uploaded on my on, on the main channel, I uploaded a video uh, in the crew on the new Gladiator jeep and i got comments on i got a comment on that being like uh it was like you won your tune is bad and that's why the car's bad uh my tune was stock. Oh, the car is terrible my, my, <laughs> my tune was yeah. stock for one uh two uh he was like oh uh, bloody bloody the jeep everyone's one of the jeep gladiator and if you don't get it then you're not a real car fan was what he said so look that's I guess it's Jeep owners. Look. I'm willing to bet 98% of the population do not know what that car is. <laughs> you can show them an image of it and they wouldn't know the name of it. Well, clearly Jeep owners themselves are very upset at the fact that uh, we have... we have. Uh... I mean, they have a lot of time to type when they're at the mechanics. Uh, <laughs> well, what we also had... Um, this, 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 oh yeah, 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 bloody like, bloody do whatever, but we got news, we got bloody, bloody car news, one of the main things 
that Where we have. Where is my Discord? I guess I can't see it. My Discord's gone. So. No, I guess what we have, the main bit of news is honestly, well, the stuff we're going to be talking about today, uh, a few Grand Tour things, a few Chinese market things. We got stuff in the gaming segment. We got stuff going on all over the place. But the big Everyone's one... taken Easter off by the looks of it because there isn't much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's not much. But one of the big ones that you might have heard of is Chinese cars have gone off the deep end. What happened? When did we turn around, look away? I mean, away? they've been silly for a while. Is like, that Aura so... Funky Cat's whole thing is silly name, silly looking car. <laughs> Buy it, please. But recently... The Chinese automaker BYD has made the BYD Yang Wang. Or was it... Is it the Yang Wang? I, I will so never never stop saying Chinese car names need to just stop being <laughs> stupidly bad. But the thing is, the, the, the Yang Wang... Like a hypersport knockoff by the looks of it, but yeah. Oh, sorry. This is the Yang Wang... Uh, oh, I've just... I, uh, uh, there we go. This is the Yang Wang uh, a U9 specifically, because there's a Yang Wang SUV as well. So it's, this is this is the, the Yang what Wang. What happened to U9. the U one through eight? Uh, apparently the eight was an SUV, so they must have actually had Yang Wang one through eight. I guess they had a they Yang had a Yang one must have gone hard. Yeah, it probably did. But this one, I say, goes harder. Uh, this Yang Wang vehicle right here. Has, uh, has been in the news recently and been in TikToks recently because of a few different things. One, it's pretty quick. It's got like a, a, a faster top speeds than like SF90s and a couple of Bugattis. It's claimed or proven, claimed or proven, because they do like to exaggerate by quite a considerable margin. That's a fair point. Uh, a TikToker said it is, uh, is my answer to that. <laughs> yeah. Because um, all of these brands are like, oh yeah, zero, zero to 60 in, in 1.8 seconds, a top speed of, of four gazillion miles an hour. And then it's got a big asterisk next to it, it said pre-production model only, or something <laughs> like that, and they never actually make one of them. I will say, the design of it, I kind of don't mind it. I kind it's of... a knockoff like a hypersport, combined I... <laughs> with the back of a Murcielago, what's it's the kinda got like Murcielago, a... Murcielago? It's kind of got like a... Rubington. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, the Reventon. I don't see Reventon in it. I see more that the wings, fin. The bat wings. Oh, yeah, I guess. That fin there, though, that it's got, that's kind of Lotus with the the Lotus Evora. One Lotus with a acrylic fin <laughs> on the rear. <laughs> yeah. I don't think the list is very long. And the rest of it looks a bit GTA car. It does. It looks like a, a specific GTA -like one. GTA-like in Hypersport. Maybe. Might be. I'm not. I, I, who's, who's, who am I to say? Uh, I like the design, though. I think it's pretty cool. Have they actually made more than one of these, or is it like a prototype that's driving around? Uh, let's let's find out, shall we? <laughs> let's... What's the name of the car? The Yang Wang U9. Chinese hypercar that costs a third of a Ferrari. Would you look at that? This is from the guys over at Moto One. I mean, it might cost that, but they actually make them. <laughs> well, to be fair, you've got this one right here, and then you've got this one with a spoiler on it. So clearly, there's multiple ones, all right? Uh, can a China... It's not actually out yet, apparently. Okay, yeah. well, yeah, but it's uh, it's two hundred, it's two hundred thousand euro. That's 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 cheap. <laughs> How fast is it? Because um, my R eight comparison's coming. Uh, we have. I I don't know. I, I actually can't see the speed. I don't think they uh, Nine. they have the speed anyway. You're gonna have to. You, oh, zero to sixty in two point three six seconds. Two point three six seconds. That's... Buy an R eight. <laughs> How many are? What's the on the on the on the talk show uh, home brand measurement system? How many R rates is this car for two hundred thirteen thousand? Uh, we're talking brand new base model R eights. That two. You could get two R eights for the price of a Yang Wang U nine. <laughs> you could buy twenty twenty one zero mile Elisas. You could buy. This is mass. Come on. I'm going to round them up. About, about five and a half Lotus Elises. Well, no. consider this though. Can those Lotus Elises from standstill in 9.74, 9.78 seconds, those point zero four matter, um, do 400 meters from standstill? 
It, it, what kind of I don't know. Rimac record is this? No, I thought I thought it was. Look, I saw four hundred. World's fastest four hundred meters while eating a sandwich upside down, strapped into the car seat. <laughs> I see. What? I saw four hundred, and I was like, oh, that'll be a mile number. So I skipped forward. And I was like, oh, in nine point seven eight seconds, and then I read it. It's it does four hundred meters in that from a standstill. Maximum... you that's because it does the quarter mile. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. It does a 10 second quarter mile because they've cut it short by a bit. So it does a 10 second quarter does mile. 300 miles on a full tank. Would you would you look at that? 300, 300. It's not bad range to be fair. Yeah. For 200 grand, they're bad. Um, good range. But the best. No, no top speeds, let's say. I could yeah. find. But the best thing about this car. <laughs> the best thing about this car is this from the TikTok of Chris Pierce. The absolute. Golden Why feature of this car. First name is his last name. <laughs> you tell me. The the best thing about the car is that it bounces. The car can hop around and move. It's it's also he it gives a bunch of like lore on the car. But the best thing about it, it can also drive on three wheels. I don't know if you knew that. It can. Pitchron could do that in the eighties. It's not exactly a flag. Could they? Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. Well, this can do it. Could a Ferrari? I didn't think so. Can the Yang Wang? Could the Yang... How many Citroen BXs could you get for this? <laughs> could, That's the real question. Could the Yang Wang U8 do this? I think so. That's what I thought. Uh, it also, yeah, it's got like... It comes with like hydraulics stock. I mean... <laughs> in this... Mercedes can... Any Mercedes, I think, post-2008 can do that. <laughs> but are they this wacky though? Can it jump? Can those Mercedes jump? Consider that. Of this jump, like I... actually from a standstill, like oh, jump. Did you see that? Did you, did you see that? Did you see it? it jumped. It jumped. Uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, whoa. Did you see that? It jumped. See? Yeah, you're gonna have to get the microma around to measure that <laughs> one. <laughs> no, but it was bad timing for you, see, because you're calling it out and it did it right in front of you. Look at that. Oh, oh, jumped. That's right. You gotta jump in hypercar. It looks so plastic from what? this. <laughs> oh, no, it's going to be all plastic. It's not gonna be fiberglass. It's gonna be plastic. Yeah. Does it have. Does it have what? What am I kidding? It's not going to have any of these when it comes out, actually, is it? Never mind. Well, but you mean it, you're telling me when I buy this, you're telling me once I, I was buy say, this. I say, does car, it have high, like, is it got like a, electromagnetic levitation suspension or is it got like hydraulic or is it like sort of electronic? But no, there's no, there's no. Look at that. It's not going to. Look at, look at that. It's up off the ground. It's up off the ground. It's, 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 you're telling me that this thing won't jump when I, when I buy this thing. In... What is the point of that jump, by the way? Like... Well, because. They really have run out of stuff to do, that. By the way, that is low enough of a jump that, like, two people in the car? And, like, I don't know, it's probably not got enough power no, to actually no, jump two anymore. Two people and, I don't know, you've got Morrison's and, yeah, that ain't going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, there you go. Then we have, uh, we have... I uh, guarantee that jumping model doesn't have a battery in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is also... all marketing. Is I guarantee EV? there is no battery in it. Is this car EV? Is that what it is? is it... Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh. What is EV? Well, I don't know. I just... Look, it's on a full tank. Since when do you, when... Since when do you describe EVs as full they tank? They are a TikToker. Uh, well, no, that was that was Motor One actually the uh, the the news publication Motor One. So you have to call that Motor then. One, co-owned by BYD, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Chinese cars don't just stop at the That's BYD, kind of cool. right? It's a they, well, they're cool color. This Peugeot one. lights, Peugeot lights. I've just realized <laughs> exactly. See, it's a good design. Peugeot started a trend that they. Just... <laughs> but another Chinese car making the rounds. Is a so recently we got the the Xiaomi car, it's, it's, which we have it's some a Huawei blank. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> we have some stuff to talk about the Xiaomi car as well, which we will do today here. Do we? Uh, yeah, yeah. That thing, that thing's making the rounds. It's making the it made orders. It sold out. I'm very sure. It sold out before it launched, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> there you it's go. See, the Xiaomi cars making all over the place. They are they are selling the Xiaomi car. They, they you know what? Xiaomi might be here in the market to stay. That's that's look bold claim from me, Xiaomi, the new Ford. I'm saying who's who else is saying it? Because I I'm not saying I'm I'm just I'm chucking it out. I'm, I'm not saying anything. I'm parroting it. Um. Then we have I heard you say it was the new Ferrari. Yeah. I heard you say it was. Why does this look like a Range Rover Revoke long wheelbase mixed with an Escalade? Yeah, yeah. No, there's a bit of a there's a bit of a Jeep Cherokee in the back there as well. Um. I heard you saying actually that the Xiaomi car was China's Ferrari. Um, as well as 
as well as the Corvette being America's Ferrari. Wouldn't the U9 be China's Ferrari? I guess the U9 would be China's Ferrari. No, yeah, if we had whoever wrote that article, which I, I wish we still had that article. That was one of the best... Best era of the podcast was those few running jokes, was SUVs of the week and, and whatever car is whatever country's Ferrari. Um, but It's still a good joke. <laughs> it still is a really good joke. I'm just worried no one knows it now, right? Because people are going to jump into the podcast and then hear us say, oh yeah, the, the Jeep Cherokee is America's Ferrari. And just it, it just sounds like we're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> it just... <laughs> It was a... Oh, of course it's Scotty. It's the Aito M9. Oh, what? The Huawei. So, Xiaomi yeah. made a car. This is the Huawei car with uh, a bunch of different features that are so wild 79,000 USD, by the way. Did you end up actually... Did you watch this TikTok? TikTok. Did you see some of the features that I it had? I did, but like, imagine a Mercedes from 2008. Hmm. And now it's in a Huawei. Well, it also had like a. It's got like a feature where it plays a sound so that you like can't hear the guy yeah, behind you. Yeah, it plays a really annoying sound. <laughs> but you can't hear the guy behind it's like you. You have a conversation. It's like, oh yeah, noise cancelling. Start yeah. a jazz <laughs> camera. You're like, I can't hear you anymore. <laughs> uh, they've got a little screen for the guy, and then if he wants, he can pull down a bigger screen with a projector which is only going to work at night time the projector is a worse version of the screens in the back of uh you know isn't there there's a bm there's a there's a bmw that bloody has like a full like widescreen that comes down which i quite like actually i mean take any top top trim Mm. mercedes audi or bmw from 2010, I'll be honest, 2013 onwards, and they will have screens for the rear, and the front seat will fold down. I will be honest, though. If, especially the long wheelbase versions. <laughs> if I was to be driven around in anything, I wouldn't mind being driven around in a BMW i7. I'm just, I'm chucking that one out there. It's got the big widescreen that comes down. It's got the... Yeah, you're going to want to be driven around with the depreciation that thing's happening. <laughs> sure, you. sure. Well, I don't know. My driver can deal with that. Uh, it also, it's uh, <laughs> the i7. You're going to be doing, you paid for it. <laughs> your, your driver's not front in the car. Well, yeah, we, we, wouldn't it, what's your driver for then? He right? drives you to a place and you take the money to appreciate it out as a counter. Or You're telling me that drivers don't own the cars that they drive? The people who are getting driven around chauffeur. own them? Yeah, a personal chauffeur and he'll already own an i7. Uh, us own the car. But the best thing about the i7 is it's that car that, um, if you remember a while ago, it's the car that people joked, it's the BMW you can make come. Because it's the, it's the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the one where the badge comes out and sprays the camera. Uh, <laughs> great. Brilliant. But um, another I thing. i7's the one with the massive widescreen. Yeah, the that's rear, the one I'm the talking one. about. Yeah, yeah, the BMW yeah. i7. Um, but yeah, this one, this, it also has, it has a HUD. It's got an on-screen HUD. Yeah, but like, <laughs> like it's a got... Renault Clio has a HUD in the year of 20. Okay, yeah. It's but not does anything it... special. <laughs> does it have a HUD with all of this stuff? It's got a mini map. It's got a mini map. It it's has the turn. speeds, your miles, your, uh-huh. all the road signs you've seen. And it'll have an arrow. Does it, it, does it have well. the, like, the this arrow? The only like, thing this does different is it draws a blue line. Look, it's got an AR. It's, it's AR. Look, whoa. Yeah, that's, that's what a HUD is. A HUD Just is see, look, look, look. It's got a little waypoint. Did you see the waypoint? It had a little waypoint. Look at that. Wait, oh, oh, oh. Waypoint. Yeah, but, but you can buy... <laughs> For the oh, audio, it's three thousand pound car with a waypoint. For the audio listeners, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a car with a, it's, it's a HUD that Imagine is just a video a game HUD. display from any car you can buy today, <laughs> but there is a blue spinning waypoint on your destination. And it like it's, it's actually there. Like it moves around when the place moves around. Like it, it's, it's, it's like it's, it's like it's like an Apple Vision Pro type thing, right? It's like that kind of. When was the last time you were in a new car? <laughs> Like, look, it's it's look, it's revolutionary. The the whatever this thing is, yeah, revolutionary for twenty fifteen, maybe. Sure. This TikTok was also really. Uh, this TikTok was rather good. This uh, in a bad way. It was really funny. What are the bezels on that screen? Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's all bezel, no screen really. <laughs> maybe this is twenty fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's it's also massive. Um, it's yeah. uh, it, it's got a projector in the lights. It's got a projector in the lights. 
You've heard of being blinded by headlights before. Now you're going to get... I don't know. You're just going to be imprinted with a film or something. I don't know. Yeah, you... <laughs> you're walking around and the, high... the headlights put like a little mustache on you. Like a little cloud outfit on you as you're walking. Um, but it's got a... It's Look got a... how dim this projector is at night, by the way. <laughs> it's got a projector in the light. Look! What's this? What's this? Someone's crossing in front of you. Look what it does. It gives them a little crossing from the projector lights. That is CG, by the way. Wow, you, you, you're ruining my immersion. That's got to be real, I'm sure. Because the, the, screen, the screen's curved, but the, but the lines... <laughs> well, uh, yeah, so this thing this thing went crazy, basically. This thing went... Um, oh, they can also... It can do little pixelation in the, in the rear lights for the... Buy an S-Class. <laughs> how many S classes can you buy? How many 2019 S classes can you buy for seventy thousand pounds? Okay, but tell That's me, a good question. you get offered either this. I thing... would m I, give me an S class any day of the week, please. No, you've you've not heard the offer yet. You get offered the me to walk the Huawei, whatever this is, uh, or Al Ato M9, the Huawei M9, or you get the. BYD Yang Wang. You, I walk. You get. You, Can I walk, please? You, you, you have to. A car take, that doesn't exist. You have to take one. And a Huawei car. <laughs> you have to take one of those cars, and you have to daily drive it. Which one are you taking? The Huawei or the Yang Wang? Balls in your court. I have to pick one. Yes, you have to pick either the 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 Huawei or the Yang Wang, and you gotta daily drive it. Like we're talking, we're talking. You work, you go to work and back to car meets to uh, odd. Shop to work at a Yang Wang. To family occasions. What do you drive? Yeah, the Yang Wang. <laughs> in the car park. No one, I think you're being serious. Uh, outside of the Tesco, could someone please move there? <laughs> Can someone please move their BYD Yang Wang that is in the way of uh, the entry? Could we move the BYD? Well, it doesn't have. It doesn't actually say Yang Wang anywhere on it. They have no idea what it is. Oh no! Wait, does it not? Does it not have like no. another name badge? Oh, okay, yeah. No. <laughs> Could someone go and move the uh... nondescript GCA car, please? <laughs> yeah. No, they'll go, uh... and you'll know. Oh, Owner of car. the long wheelbase Range Rover that's got some Mitsubishi and. I don't even know what that is. Move it, please. Can someone go get their car? It's been bouncing around the parking lot for the last hour. Can someone please go stop their car from bouncing around the parking lot? If you spend £70,000 on a Huawei car <laughs> with bezels of that big on its screen, <laughs> you deserve it, to be honest. Okay, I don't know what else I could say. No resale, daily driven... I don't think they'll have any resale value, to be honest. <laughs> Huawei? Who loads up auto trader goes, Yang Wang. <laughs> the Huawei or the Yang Wang? I wonder what depreciate for. Uh, I love the... None of them have any safety features in them, I imagine. <laughs> I love the, the Yang Wang. Yeah. Yes! But just because it, it might be a tad fun before it blows up and I can't get any parts from it. I guess, yeah. Because like, this this is going to... Everything's going to break on it. And Huawei... There's no the Huawei, Huawei car dealerships. <laughs> it, so you ain't got to fix anything. You could take so. it to like a... I imagine like taking it to like a local phone shop, right? Like one in like the middle of Luton. <laughs> Like uh, in the middle. You had to strip it for parts. Ain't coming back. <laughs> and if, if you say the loot, then. like a uh, like a uh, like a little deli, Burry Park, fine shop. I imagine in. cars like this are uninsurable in the UK. You reckon? I mean, how? Well, like imagine trying to explain to an insurance company, you drive a Yangwan U9 that has <laughs> no dealership network in the UK, no yeah. customer service in the UK, no like there's no no dealership, no parts availability, no customer service. Mm. Like if if it pay, gets a tiny paint scratch on it they will have to write the car off don't they worry they will not have yang wang in their database <laughs> don't worry if anyone approaches me at high speed i'll hop over them we'll be fine um... and the ants approach you at high speed because it <laughs> jumps like this much <laughs> off the ground exactly you know in case they uh you know you're not hopping over a lanza door anytime soon i guess so you're buying a yang wang don't demo royale a lanza door i guess 
Uh, probably but... buy a used Escalade, like a not even that old one, like a probably twenty thirty thousand mile Escalade for seventy thousand US. Uh, but speaking of speaking of speaking of Chinese cars, the Xiaomi car, it bloody it bloody made sales. They they can't keep up with the sales of the Xiaomi car. In fact. So you know what I would say? They've had an absolute hater with this one. Where where are they? So it's only it's still only Chinese it's sales. It's so right? much uglier than I remember. But yeah, China only. I it's think. a weird angle. It's a weird angle. I think. Why has uh... it got a blob on the roof? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Know. In case you. <laughs> what, what is it? A taxi. I was gonna say you can spray paint that yellow and it will look like a taxi. Um, but yeah, the the the, the Xiaomi car made sales. It's getting to people. In fact, they can't keep up with the sales. People want it. It looks... <clears throat> and it's got Michelin tires on in this picture. So, I think Xiaomi... It must be good. If they can't even keep up with production, right? Presumably, they would have made a reason... They might not have Guess made Guess what the tears to... are. Guess what the... There's three trims. <sighs> Well, it's the SUV. Phone, phone related, by the way. <laughs> what is it, like the Plus Max or like the... Pro, you got the standard, the Pro and the Max. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I... Yeah. <laughs> it's selling because it's cheap. It's £24,000 for the base model. I wonder how many megapixels the Xiaomi Max comes with, you know? That's what I want to know. Uh, <laughs> but the Xiaomi, the Xiaomi's selling hot off the lot... They presumably would have made enough to break even eventually because they can't keep up with sales. Presumably, they're, they're, they're breaking even on this car. Obviously, the R&D, maybe not because it's their first car, so it's taking a big R&D hit. But that'll be spread across if they make new cars. £24,000 yeah. is not a lot of money, which means this is either... It's being sold at a loss. Mm-hmm. Or more than likely, it is made out of the cheapest plastic they could find. Like, they <laughs> went to the landfill and dug up some used plastic and like, yeah, that'll work. Chuck it in the motor. <laughs> well, you know what? I think that this thing is, uh, I, th I think, I think I'm proud of this it. This will never come to Europe. Never. I think it's gonna, I think Xiaomi are here to stay as a car market people now. So. Well, they ain't here. But... Yeah, yeah. Um, well, not here, I guess, yeah. But... Xiaomi, good on ya. And that's all the stuff for stuff for Chinese cars. But instead of something Chinese, speaking of coming here, something... Buy a Renault 5 instead of the SU7. Something that's big here already. Uh, something that has been big here for a very, very long time is... Was, I guess. Top Gear. Top Gear was massive in the UK. Until there was a big old issue, a big old controversy involving punching producers, potentially racism, but uh, uh, arguments of some kind. I wouldn't and, put it past them, to be fair. And there's so much stuff going on, and Top Gear was no more. That is such an old image of them. They <laughs> look so much older now. It's when they just started the Grand Tours. Oh, clearly, yeah, Grand it's Tours. Yeah, because like, about 20 kilos since then. <laughs> But the, uh, the the Top Gear, if you don't know, you know them if you listen to this podcast. But Top Gear was a trio on an old British TV show, a long-running British TV show, a car show. James May, Richard Hammond, and Jeremy Clarkson, who have been on a bunch of other things as well. Uh, Richard Hammond was the host of Total Wipeout UK. Jeremy Clarkson currently has a farming-based show. And I know James May has done little, like, one-off he does have a, documentary like, documentary stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they have ran a uh, a car show for a very long time and a very very it was it's UK culture. It, it's 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 like The Simpsons and Top Gear were like the shows when I was younger. I remember being in in lower school and it was Simpsons is on at 6 p.m. on Channel 4 and Top Gear I I think like 8 p.m. somewhere. I assume on a BBC. But um uh, yeah, it was relegated to one of the worst BBC channels because they didn't like it very much, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was still very, very famous. Uh, especially the specials, uh, the Burma special, Place in My Heart. Um, there's uh, iconic specials. Then, after this fallout, 
the guys left. Well, Jeremy Clarkson left, and with that, obviously, Hammond and James May also left, you know, out of respect for their friend. So they leave, they go, and Amazon signs them to the Grand Tour instead. But Top Gear replaces the hosts. At the beginning, it was like, wasn't it like seven hosts at the beginning? When they replaced yeah, them? they cycled through so many people because, yeah, it just wasn't working. And they were like, oh, we must change the host again for the fourth time this week. They had the guy from Friends as well who he, he probably gets. I, I, I feel bad, right? Because I'm doing the same thing here. He probably gets discounted. Apparently, he's really into cars, like genuinely. And he probably does get discounted because he's... Certain, I've never seen Friends. I didn't even recognize him. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, the guy from Friends, I assume he gets uh, he gets discounted easily because of that. So I do feel a little bad. Uh, I, I forget what his name was. Jo Joey from Friends. He was in the, 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 the revamp. So with so many people. Then finally, eventually, they dwindled down to three people, which was a golfer? cricketer was it not a cricketer uh and like a d who i think was in an accident recently no or was that one of the yeah. other ones yeah he's he's got obviously cancer basically are they back yet are they no they're not coming back oh oh wait so the cancellation of that was was yeah, actually it was, it was permanent yeah damn right yeah uh, I think they gave out ratings within the bin they were doing like four episodes a season and then when they had to give him a massive payout yeah i think they were just like yeah let's not it's not bother anymore. Yeah. So I guarantee you we weren't going to come back after that either. Mm. Uh, and there was also two other guys who I, I don't really I don't really know. I I, uh, I feel bad for not knowing them, but they they, 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 they used to do other cars. They had the uh, Rory, what's his name, uh, who does the Auto Trader YouTube channel now. He was on there at one point. Oh, nice. Um, but yeah, that, that, cool. that was running for a little bit until now that's been cancelled. And the Grand Tour, Amazon picked them up and they, they did do regular shows for a little bit. They were pretty Top Gear-esque. Three seasons? Yeah, of just, like, pretty Top Gear-like And if shows. I remember, they just started performing horribly after the first. Which, yeah. I remember trying to watch the first season, and I don't know, Top Gear was always pretty scripted, but Grand Tour just oh, felt... Oh, Grand Tour, even the new Grand Tour stuff, is so... Uh, it's borderline I'm, unwatchable I'm glad. Me. I'm glad it was me, because I remember saying it at school, and... Ollie Peacock sat next to me, was like, well, even Top Gear was scripted. I was like, it never felt this Top scripted. Top Gear is quite scripted. No, 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 it was bad. But Grand Tour just felt like, I just, like, every line felt like as if it was just off read right off a script rather than any of them just joking around at all, right? Um, I think they got better towards the end, but, like, it was never, it's... I mean, you can see they've basically completely given up in these last few specials because they. Yeah. Just, they so can't. then the Grand Tour eventually switched to just specials. They just went, you know what? We'll just do the the main thing. It was like a special like. year kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. So most recent being the Sand Job, which uh, yet to watch. We never watched Europe, uh, the Europe run and the Sand Job. We never watched those. Yeah. Were those last year or was Sand both Job this, this year, year? I think. Oh, both this year? Okay, yeah. We're... Or one was very end of last year. But yeah. I guess we got to check it out for the sake of uh, the, the... the I'm not going to... You know what? I'm going to wait to rebrand the Stick Drift Awards because I just realized that that's also Rip as well now. So we're going to have to... That's actually quite sad. That's that's hit me. I just That realization, I just never processed that. Hang on a minute. The Stick Drift Awards are going to be ne needing a rename as well now. <sighs> well... Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll have to the watch it for it, that. Yeah. Uh, but there are rumors afloat that uh, I'll let you I'll let you explain the rumors because they were a surprise to me as well. You're gonna have to enlighten me a bit more on what you're on about. Something about what are these? Maybe the them being rumors? replaced. Yeah. Oh, well, apparently, yeah, I was gonna try and replace them, but I doubt. I don't think they will. So it would. They be... will have seen what happened with the BBC. They yeah. will see their own numbers are kind of in the bin for the Grand Tour as a whole. <laughs> they might try one special or one season, mm. and it will flop, mm. and they will not do another one. Unless they bring on current car personality and a host of the talk show, Sid Watch. And like and and 
co-host of the talk show Josh L. And our third. Let's start a racing game, YouTube. Like, like, you AR12 and Black Panther. I don't know. Yeah, put us, put us on. Put yeah, put the Forza guy, the Need for Speed guy, and the Crew guy. Put us, put us on there, and I'm sure people will love Call it. Call it the Game Tour, and then you can <laughs> play games. You know what the, the you know the issue is is they're gonna have to play like a a weird game, right? Because if they go too young, everyone will hate it. Just because the ghosts are the hosts will be too young. Uh, it, it would have to be like, you know, the, the sort of the outward appearance of age, because not actual age, because it, it more just depends on how you look. The outward appearance age of the car wow guy, right? That's the kind of age I could see someone being like. Oh, there aren't many mid 30s car presenters about. To that's be the fair. issue, right? That's the issue. Likeable ones, the list is about. I don't know, not many names long. <laughs> yeah, it's it's rough. Um, but I say... They, and they um, will all have contracts. I guarantee you, Carl Guy has a contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rory with Auto oh, Trader, whatever he has, has a contract. I guarantee you, they have to stay there for X amount of years. There's no, like, non-compete clauses, all of that stuff. And any new guys will just be, well, who's this guy? Well, bloody hell, who's, who, who's this guy? Yeah. I don't know him. Bloody grand tour, they brought these new kids on. I don't know a lot of them. So... Shot them all off. Um, and the numbers wouldn't be great. A, a good season would... I mean, I guess a season could come back. At at this rate, I mean, how many specials do you reckon the guys have left in them, though? I don't think they want to do it anymore, is the issue. Do you not reckon? They seem like they're having fun still. A little bit. Maybe. None of... Like, I, Clarkson wants to do his farm stuff. Yeah. Hammond, well, he does his own little bits here and there. Yeah, and James yeah. May, I don't know, drives around the Civic. I don't know, I don't know what he I does. I don't know what James May does, no. Um, I mean, Hammond uh, Hammond does stuff with his... Uh, he had his daughter doing Rally recently. That was a video I watched. It was it was quite nice. Mm. Um, oh, they they all own this, like, Drive Chive yeah, brand so thing where they do videos on that. What is that? Because do they own it or does the team own it? Cause... I think it's owned by a company that they have a share in. Yeah, and then they do a bunch of content on there pretty and, often. And, yeah, they do stuff on it to promote it and stuff like that. But it's got a host and yeah. they do... 90% of the content there is just them, uh, the, the host doing content with cars. Basically. Yeah. How, how does that how does that do? Because I mean, I haven't looked in a while, but it was doing poorly last time I checked. Because I mean, it's kind of the future, you know, YouTube and whatnot. I mean, I, I think that's why they started it. I don't think it's it's. It seems uh, to do all I... right. Five days got three hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, hundred thousand in a day. It's healthier than like Hoonigan. Or... Yeah, but it used to do much, much, much better. Oh sure, but I mean, if this is the bottom of, then you know, it's not a, it's not a, it's not the worst. One point one, two, nine hundred k, five hundred k, five hundred k, four point three, three hundred k, five hundred k. I think it used to do like that's like eight months ago. It used to be doing so much better. At least for them coming back in namesake, I think they're definitely they they can stick around being being here through namesake just as Plus I don't think one of them I think it's Clarkson doesn't like doing <laughs> drive trap stuff. I mean the only time I think I've ever seen him on it was that one where he he sat at a table and uh, it's from that it's where that clip is from where he he hears a car and then he's like, Oh, would you listen to that? And then like just says exactly what the car is, make, model, year, Apparently, or whatever. Apparently, someone... I think a presenter had a falling out with Clarkson, or huh. the person who runs the channel had a falling out with Clarkson. Or Clarkson just... What is it with Clarkson and having these big fallouts? <laughs> he doesn't care, and he doesn't pretend to care, I think, yeah. is the issue. And people just... Clearly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he clearly doesn't care for Grand Tour anymore. Like, he he just wants to do his farm stuff. Yeah, I mean, he got lucky that uh, the farm stuff did well for Amazon, I guess. Because <laughs> Amazon were... I mean, clearly, Amazon will do anything. Amazon, I mean, they're giving Mr. Beast uh, the They gave James budget. May a load of specials as well. I think Hammond got a few. Yeah, um, Amazon... Amazon do whatever. Oh, Hammond has his own car show now. That's oh, fine. Oh, okay, there you go. Um, I also saw... It's like he... a restoration thing. Like, you know the... Oh, yeah. Anyway. The, the Mike Bro, oh, that guy, him. He has a, basically one of those. I mean, the main thing I've seen about Hammond recently is one, he did that rallying with his daughter, and two, he has like a he has a a um a, like a, a big garage thing, and for the barriers oh, for the for the barriers oh, yeah. of the top floor, it's pretty cool. He's got like it's like an outline, a metal pipe outline, and then he has like bits of a mini 
disassembled and attached to that outline like it's a uh, you know like one of those you punch them out and then you assemble yeah. a thing it's pretty yeah. cool looking it looks pretty sick I, I... yeah that, that is that is pretty cool uh, and man. the funny thing about it was he was like yeah this one's missing because we needed that part in a car so we just actually <laughs> popped it out of the thing um but yeah uh, a very... that is cool yeah 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 a very sick design um and it's just yeah it's actually just a mini that they disassembled um so yeah how, how well, he's got the money all, for it yeah they're all doing cool stuff and if they did as the rumor state rebrand or not even rebrand sorry i'm thinking talk show uh if they did recast um, we should recast the talk show should be re- that's what we should do um <laughs> yeah. we'll host the grand tour they come and host the talk show and then we swap back around you know that's yeah the, that's where the money is um but yeah it's uh it's 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 not going to work, but it could work. No, but no, what no. if but what if it worked? They would have to get three or I don't even, would they even stick with three or they'd go down to two. What if they went car content creator route? What if they got like three car YouTubers? They know better than to not do that. <laughs> Cuz Top Gear audience would never <laughs> is no. the thing. No. Um they will have their audience demographic. They will know what they need to do. Mm. The issue is there's not many people that I imagine fill the role. Yeah, yeah. Is there a chance that they recast? It does poorly, but not poorly enough to ditch. And they just grow a new audience. And they start Grand Tour afresh. And they... Because, I mean, I still the see The issue these... is mm. they're going to fall into the trap of not doing anything new and trying to do the Grand Tour sure. like it was. Yeah. To get a new audience, they need to do something new. They won't do that. Because... Looking at these three, I still think Top Gear. Like, Grand Tour, great and all. I mean, if I'm talking about a modern day, sure. But looking at the three, I still think Top Gear. So I feel like they could put three different names and faces to Grand Tour. And it wouldn't be... be three likeable... Yeah, that's the issue. Names. Yeah, yeah. Like 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 something like Sid or, or Josh or uh, something. The thing is, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's going to have to be three people that are going to be willing to leave their current contract. Yeah. To go do that. With the knowing that they are going to be slated on Twitter <laughs> for the next few months. Yeah, yeah. Like, and the possibility that you can leave a stable hosting job for what is go- almost guaranteed to be a short term. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully Amazon just chuck money at stuff. So you never know. You never know. Um, but uh, I suppose that is that's 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 about all there is in the main segments. Of the talk show. And now to two things that have not been rebranded, but probably could use one. The gaming and the motorsports segment. The, the final... gaming talk segment, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the gaming talk. That 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 that, 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 works. that works. That works. Um we'll, we'll wrap around. We'll come back to it. Uh the gaming segment of could, the talk show. It could show. be game talk in the talk show. Ga- so yeah, you, you could the... have motor talk. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. no, it works. It works. It works. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Let, well, they, those logos will be made 2028. Let, exactly, exactly. That'll be the next rebrand. Um That's the long that's the five year plan. <laughs> yeah. But uh in the gaming segment of the talk show, it, it, I, I actually I have to process every time because I'm so close to saying stick drift every time. Um, I can hear it. You can you start to announce it at the S and then it yeah, yeah. changes. <laughs> uh but we have in the crew motorfest uh, the first week of the uh, the Black Panther season, the Black Panther and Steer Online season of the Crew Motorfest. This is a collab they have done with uh, racing game content creators. Of course, it was movie based, if you remember last time. Now it is this. It's it's streamer based, basically, with you know a, a, a content, a racing uh, game. There's not much content, but video yeah. maker, but. Yeah, that's that's running right now. You can get like streaming legend. Black Panther's car is at the end of this month, which is pretty cool. And if you have any, um, I suppose uh, any any any, if you find any enjoyment out of racing games and competitiveness, this Saturday there shall be hosted on the Sidwatch channel the demo league. Yes, the crew has. A completely neglected 
com- uh, 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 just uh, an ignored, broken. abandoned, broken, but they ignore even more uh, m- mode called Demo Royale. So I thought I would go in and I would give this mode the bit of life it needs. In fact, it's brought to you by the talk show. Uh, I had to spit that plug in there. But we have the Demo awesome. League with Demolition Royale, Cl- Crew Motorfest, and Sid Wadge. We got rewards from Ivory Tower. We got uh, five teams currently competing. We got a big name in the wraps to potentially compete next time. So we'll, uh, we'll we'll wrap back around to that one. Um, it is not Josh for the video what? watchers. <laughs> what? Yeah, we, we, for the yeah, audio saving listeners. Our, saving that reveal for later. <laughs> for the audio listeners, nothing happened. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened, sir. So, yeah. You just know you carry on driving. You carry on driving. You finish that set. You finish that. Re- what? One more. One more. Practice your demo round right now. Go on. Yeah, yeah. One more bench on me. You know. Okay. Uh, but the uh, the demo league I'm hosting is a competitive league for demo royale with points, an event. Everyone's got teams and a name and a logo, and there's, there's it's it's looking brilliant. It's actually looking really Not pretty hype. So far, but yeah. Pardon? Not everyone has a, a livery and a logo. Oh no, true, Everybody. true. Yeah, yeah. Josh is Do competing. We have a logo? I can't compete. I don't. I don't know what your logo is at all. No. Dylan offhandedly put that flaming skull, wasn't it? Was it the yeah, lion? Yeah, and he was like, "That's the logo," but I don't know. Yeah, so I can't That's compete. N- or is not making that one. Michael I... <laughs> is not making that on livery. I can tell him yeah, for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hosting, so I can't compete, which sucks. But uh, we have Josh competing under Team The Beast. got all these serious teams. Yep. And then you said you got the Sid Wash server team. Which yeah, is... yeah. I keep telling it's Dylan a... to just make it the Weggy Boys team or the Weggy Wheelers, whatever. Or I can't make the Weggy logo. <sighs> make the Hot Wheels the logo. That... You but... can't spend enough time on the 2D logo thing. Without ah. the game crashing to make the waggy, there's too many, there's too many letters. Make it on like a flat hood or something. I don't know. Like you can't. A... You need to have it saved as a decal so you can put it on both sides easily. Oh well, what about what about what about waggy? But it's in the Hot Wheels. But it's in the Hot Waggy Boys. But it's in the Hot Wheels logo style. They shut that. I recommended that yesterday, but they shut that down. So. I because at this rate, you got till Thursday, which is two we days have... away. The livery has two nondescript images on it. Like one's yep. like a caution parts way full and a danger <laughs> yeah, logo. Yeah. And then a half finished demo league image. At this point, just put just put Waggy Boys in text. It's just for plain Waggy Boys. None of us can make a li- only <laughs> can make a livery on the team is Michael. And he can't make it. Yeah, time. it's so... <laughs> I was considering making one. They were just big Rano logos on it. And Demo League written like the default font and then the Waggy. But other but, yeah. teams have uh, actually made... Everyone else is trying. Yeah, yeah. I believe we are only if one we other team. Anything. Mm-hmm. Other than last, <laughs> leave. I mean, honestly, I'm, leave. I'm promoting you guys as the underdogs. You know, we got one other team still waiting to I, send. I don't even think it's under at this point. It's just <laughs> other side of the planet. Yeah, um, but uh, yes, the um, oh damn it! I was gonna make a funny. I was gonna say there's big news. I'm so livid. I did. I was gonna say this week there's big news about the eclipse. Ah. And I just remembered I was going to do that. I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> well, now I have, but it's not as good. Um, yes, the Demo League, we've got five teams competing. Everyone's going head-to-head. There's cash prizes. By cash, I mean 80,000 crew credits. The um, prize pool's about three pounds. That's so. not my fault. Next time we'll be bigger. Uh, Next time we'll be Let's prove it to Ivory Tower. Next time would go hard if you had, like, a proper, like... It's like you had a desk in front of you with the, the like, I don't know, you had the suit, or you're like a proper commentator. You know what I've not actually revealed yet? I bought myself what? this. I bought, I bought, I bought <laughs> this. I was out and I bought for the audio listeners, I brought a little, like, trophy. It's just like a guy holding a thing in front of his chest and it's got, it's got winner on How it. How much did that cost you? <laughs> like seven, seven quid? Seven pounds. Might seven have pound. been, I think so. You could have bought an actual metal trophy for that. Look, it was it was a friend of mine's birthday, so I wasn't actually going to buy this for the Demo League first. I was buying it for her. Um, cause I thought Why it... would you care? Yeah, right. 
gold trophy. Because I thought it was really funny because it says winner I, no, and she fair. lost is... both of her last fights. That is fair. <laughs> and yeah, she... no, that, is, that goes hard, actually. So yeah. I've got a friend who fights in Muay Thai professionally and yeah... <laughs> Uh, she found it really funny as well to clarify. <laughs> yeah, no, that does that yeah. does go hard. So I bought her the winner trophy because she lost both of her last fights. Um, yeah, uh, so I have that. I bought that. I could do that. Like spending seven pound, that is outrageous. <laughs> the amount of surplus trophies on yeah. eBay is insane. Like if you search memorabilia from any racing series, <laughs> it is just trophies upon trophies upon trophies, yeah. like actual trophies. I mean, you've had a banger idea, though. I could get, like, a fold-out desk so you can actually see it on screen. You and need, I like, a proper, like, a... you're, like you're, you're far back so you can see the desk. Yeah, and you've got, like, yeah, the desk. You need, I'll like, put the trophy. I'll plug put, like... your mic thing in. Don't actually use it. Yeah, your yeah. Your Hybrex mics. That's covered. So you like, a proper mic thing. So I've got, like... You <laughs> suit on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be so good. <laughs> I'll, I'll save that for the next time. Because the next time, I want to level everything up. Um, and that one's probably going to be held in... A, green screen well it's the yeah i could do that as well yeah um uh, oh wait wait i oh you, you you're amazing i can use the not a green screen but you know the thing that i stole from the 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 event the thing that comes up with the ubisoft and the motorfest thing i can put that behind me <laughs> if it's not wide enough you can borrow mine as well i guess there you go <laughs> I've got one on my... Well, Perfect. you can see it on the wardrobe for the video listeners. There you go. Uh, well, for the, uh, for the... For the... For the jank that is the first one, I can just use the one that I have. It's going to get so hot in my room, but I can put that one down and I, I know it covers my webcam just enough. Uh, but then for the next one, when I've got the full table and everything, that's <laughs> going to go hard. Uh, brilliant ideas. I've even got a name in mind. Yeah, if you've got the flag, you could use the flag as the tablecloth for yeah, the desk. Yeah, yeah, I could. Oh, that's, oh, that's going to be so good. Okay, I need to write all these down so that when you it comes to... You have the cube to... on the desk on the corner. Yep, yep. Like, oh, Because I've got I, I... two more. I've got two, sorry, two months till the next one. I'm hosting this one this month, then I'm not doing anything Forsberg month, and then I'm doing it on the last month, the Shmi month. Could get an actual trophy, like a... A proper metal trophy. Yeah. I like that I have this though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's a very, very good idea. Um, so I will probably do that for the second one. And I'm going to be putting forward like a hundred of my own quid. I'm going to hunt around, see other people who can put um, like a hundred. I mean, you forward. might as well just give the money to me already. <laughs> yeah. Um, it'll be good. It'll be good. Um, but Forza, on the other hand, is doing a versus thing they're doing like a like a like a they're doing something it's a versus well, they got you... brian's hatch in motorsport just yeah oh well, there you go cars. you get distance based on which car you're driving and then that distance equates to um progression on a car and then everyone gets that car for free that being the mustang the newer mustang and the newer uh Ford Raptor. They also had a bundle recently, which I think was fine. It had a uh, had a super van in it, which that was pretty cool. And it some... was the McLaren Sabre, the yeah. Ginetta G10 RM, Ford Super Van 4, and the Shelby GT500. There you go. Pretty all right lineup, I suppose. Um, that was added recently. And then we also have uh, TDU news. <laughs> Uh, we don't have anything new in April Fools anymore. It's April nine. <laughs> April Fools. Uh, we don't have uh, any Need for Speed news. Which when's their next update? I thought that next update was like. I don't uh, know. how far ahead can you set your calendar? Uh, well, look, I think it's in. <laughs> I think it's in soon. Frankly, I'm fairly sure. This certain. year it would be a bold prediction. I'm fairly sure, and it, yeah, it's this year. It is May. May is when the next update is, which is also when the next, um, it's when the next, uh, that's next month. Actually. Last Motorfest, not Motorfest, last Motorfest update was. Mm. Uh, was last it? Need for Speed update is what you're thinking Need for Speed, that's the word I was looking yeah. for. Was Three tragic. Words. Um, but, but. I, I, I don't put spaces between my Need for you, Speed. You put Need hyphen, uh, Need hyphen four hyphen Speed. There's not even a hyphen, it's, oh, it's just, just Need it's for Speed Need for Speed. It's like a surname, yeah. you know? Um, but, uh, then, the, you know what, Need for Speed, they care, alright? It's just, it's like three guys they left. They care enough to add two cars and... Well, the budget. And some stuff around. The, bu the budget, but, um... 
they... I remember the staff, and they, they, they moved some stuff around. I, uh, I heard they did a fair bit, and they did a surprise qual. And they did they did a surprise qual. I heard, I heard they did a surprise qual. I'm just chucking that out there. Um, Unbound, I think it's got potential, frankly. Um, and then also on that mar- on that uh, on that note, we have why is this open in Reddit? I don't go away Reddit. Um, and that's I believe that's everything going on in gaming. What's going on in the world of motorsports? We okay, there were an episode last week, was there? No, no, we got we got a race to talk about. Uh, I didn't watch it, but yeah, uh, no, no MotoGP race. As far as I'm aware, no. And then one F1 race. And in that, that F1 race, I didn't race? watch. Oh, well, what happened? I, I, did, I was at five AM and I'd stayed up till like one AM the <laughs> night before, so I, there was no way I was going to operate on like four hours of sleep. Yeah, but what actually happened? Uh, it was the usual for Stepan Perez, uh, what's it called signs parade that we usually get. To be yeah. honest, nothing special. So, uh, Williams. Please, Did Verstappen Williams. make it to the end of the race this time, at least? Yes. Okay, let's talk about Williams. Where do I start? Get a grip? <laughs> uh, literally. Yeah. Uh, Sergeant Binder in practice one destroyed the new front new front wing they don't have spares of and suspension. The race before that, Sergeant... Actually, no, this is funnier. Sergeant oh. destroyed his chassis in Australia. Like, and, and Williams, with the, the very serious Formula 1 team they are, yeah. don't have a spare and won't have one for the next three races. So they had to essentially put band-aids on this chassis. <laughs> but for that race, while it was broken, yeah. Albon drove Sargent's car, even though Albon crashed. But when they fixed Albon's broken chassis, mm. they gave it to Sargent. <laughs> and is heavier. So they've just kind of gimped Sergeant for some reason. I don't know what they are here, but I don't know what they're Yeah, this is the there. second time they've done Sergeant over, isn't it? Because of uh, Albon. So like, it's so I- funny. I'm baffled the guy still wants it, to all race All the TikToks there. are like, <laughs> your teammate crashes his car, so they take yours off you, and they give you back his broken <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and then all of that for Alex. You know, Sergeant crashed in free practice one. Yeah. Uh, broke their brand new front wing. They don't have any spares off, <laughs> and that's a Oh, God. Then on lap one, turn three mm-hmm. of the race, Albon gets launched into a wall, breaks the new front wing, the other new front wing they had. So they have no, no new front wings anymore. Yeah. So they haven't confirmed whether they're chassis damage. Yeah. If there is, they don't have another one and they're going to have two broken chassis. I thought oh, Sergeant Dunn's gearbox in the that Alex? We, there's a gearbox Alex, missing somewhere Alex in this probably equation. did it in and then they swapped it with Al and Sergeant oh no it was it was. I think it was Alex I said they're going to take Sergeant's gearbox out and give him Alex and it's just not going to work <laughs> yeah. oh, and poor then guy. during the actual race yeah. Sergeant put in the gravel so he came dead last oh, well maybe he deserved it then <laughs> Well, then again, he didn't exactly have the best car to drive, so... Williams have... Like, they didn't have enough money for a second chassis. They now have <laughs> zero new front wings. Oh, God. Like, I, it's, it's the exact same as the start of last year. Because I don't know if you remember last year. I was saying how they just need a race where both cars finish a weekend without one of them <laughs> crashing. It's having just... It's getting silly. It's impressive. Point. It's truly impressive at this rate. Uh, for a team where budget mm. matters arguably the most yeah they have probably spent what's the cost cap 140 mil they're they're pretty close to about almost five percent now in total spent on fixing crashes <laughs> is uh is alpine doing any better than they used to or are they still Not in really, the mud no, no oh. they're still tractor damn i mean they were celebrating getting out of first qualify like it was a race win for one car so yeah that <laughs> oh god uh that's terrible um verstappen's still on it i heard he said like oh um i don't know funny tiktoks i guess uh verstappen's saying st- verstappen he got says a, haircut. a lot of stuff to be honest he got a haircut and everyone was talking about his haircut <laughs> the most mid-table bundesliga strike you've ever seen <laughs> from verstappen. Verstappen a a- haircut hang on i need to find this uh, where's the image? Where's the image? I don't know if I'm gonna find it. B- why was everyone talking about his haircut? 
he just looks like apparently just like a generic Bundesliga footballer. Like, it's just... <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna find an image, but he had a haircut, and everyone yeah. was joking about it. Um, I mean, there's also this, but this can't be real. This wasn't the haircut, right? This, this, this. I think this... that's a real image, but that's not the new haircut. That's not the new one. This is a previous nah. Verstappen. Yeah. Okay. Look. He's misstapped a few haircuts. Well, the the haircut had much better. It's basically the same. It's like up and over. Yeah, yeah. It's a very generic, like sort of a British hair. I guarantee he got it at, in MK. You know, he comes to MK all the time. It yeah. looks like an MK haircut. Yeah. Um, but uh, wait, was it, was it this? Was it this or is this also an old one? This? It, That's an old one. He's uh, smiling. In his Red Bull shirt with a like a background thing, it's like just a head, like a shoulders yeah. profile image. Oh, you know what? Let me search on Twitter. That'll be more. That'll I be guarantee more you, I can find on Twitter by Bundesliga F1. <laughs> uh, the Stefan haircut. I'm not gonna find it, man. I'm not gonna find it. I just, I, it was such a, it was, it was funny going through all of the, um, all of the uh, comments about it. Have you found yeah, it? Here we go. Verstappen. It's gotta be. It's gotta be here somewhere. Rip Max Verstappen because he cut his hair. Rest in peace. Honestly, Verstappen haircut. I gotta find it. Oh, no, that's the old one. Oh, I found it! 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 I've just found it. He's I've just like found smoldering it, at the camera as well. It's so. <laughs> Hang on, wait, wait, wait. It's like wait. a neck up shot, not a shoulder up. Yeah, shot. there you go. This, this was the picture. That went uh, uh, Twitter viral, at least, and um, it was. Just... <laughs> got... You know what? In this picture, he's got a bit of Alfie about him. I think it's the way he smiles. It's just like facial structure. <laughs> he's got a bit of Alfie about yeah. him. Uh, our friend Alfie. I see it. No, I see it. I yeah, see it. it's not something you guys would know, but it's it's a uh, our friend Alfie. He's got a bit of Alfie about him. But uh, I think it's the face structure, like the, the way the eyes and like the, the brow is yeah. structured. I don't know. Something and about him. This was a uh, this was a a picture that did the rounds because ha <laughs> ha funny haircut. It's uh he does look uh, he does look different. I mean it looks the exact same as all his others to be fair. Does like, it? Oh well there I you go. I think it's just the photo where it's like a very close up. Everything's out of focus. <laughs> yeah. like, He's used like iPhone like uh What's studio. the context for this image? Exactly, yeah, no, no, you're right, you're right. He's used like uh iPhone like, studio. You walk to the like quick photo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh Max, you got a haircut, quick photo, photo, photo. <laughs> um but yeah, that was uh that was a bit of fun. Um and is that is that everything going on in the world of motorsports? Uh, I, on the topic of, I can't find the image anymore. Sure. On the topic of bad memes, there was a <laughs> yeah. POV your Mercedes F1, and there is a straight on the next race, and it's like an image of like a George Russell, and it's sad. Just says, "Well, I, I'm finished." At the top. <laughs> Uh, can they not that do was such straights? A good image. Have they just huh? not got a? Have they not got a oh, straights? There was they done one for uh, Mercedes, Aston Martin, and McLaren. Yeah, just allergic to straight lines, basically. Mm. And then mm. Williams, which is bad. Oh, oh MotoGP go. was bought by F1. It's... Oh yeah, that big news. Yes, yes. MotoGP was officially bought by uh, the, 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 yeah, the FIA. Did. Tell us about Ooh, it. F1 owners Liberty Media brought MotoGP for 4.5 billion US Damn. dollars. And you watch to do it nothing Fauci? with, by the looks of it. They haven't confirmed any changes they're going to make. They just now own a majority share. I well, guess th most of it, like 80%. They were probably making a bit of profit, so they were like, yeah, that little bit of profit would be nice, I guess. They have talked about trying to make MotoGP mm. like on the same tracks as F1 on the same weekends. Yeah. But. I don't see it would have to be on very specific tracks because the safety requirements to become OGP class track and F1 track are very different. Yeah. Because you need the long runoffs and the no curbs and stuff like that. So I don't really see why or how, but I mean, they obviously want to do something with it. Yeah. Yeah. As long as they're like for stopping on a bike, we're good. Uh, but that would actually be quite funny. Uh, wouldn't this mean that they could finally do the running them at the same time that they've been trying to do for a while? For access, the issue and schedule. Oh. If. <laughs> yeah. If they put MotoGP and F1 
on the same streaming package yeah. would be the only thing that I support of this. Oh, okay. Because it's... MotoGP is like... I think it's like £40 a month yeah. in the UK. Ugh. On top of the £40 or whatever you have to pay for F1, Sky Sports F1. Yeah. Cut together for the same price. <laughs> same price. Yeah. It wouldn't be bad. Well, you know what? I think... This will be good because the FIA is really good at making decisions all the time. So Different regulating bodies. They're oh, not going to combine them. Oh, yeah. damn. They should have because then they could... Uh, they, they, they should they should be things that carry over, right? Like if... Does the Road and Track article mention anything they specifically want to do? Because I sure. think... What they should start doing is if Marcus Marcus's teammate ever makes a mistake, they then... Oh, sorry. If Marcus Marcus makes a mistake... They then give Marcus Marcus's teammate his bike, and uh, then he yeah. and his teammate has to oh, run the broken think, bike. I don't think the cat are in the mud as much as Williams are. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is the Williams of MotoGP? Who's 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 dogging Honda. it? Oh, Honda. Damn. And uh, yeah, Yamaha are terrible. Yeah. Ninety percent of the time, Honda <laughs> are terrible. One hundred percent of the time. So yeah. Just pick your poison. Uh. I guess that's what we're dealing with in uh, as a as, as a fan of uh, MotoGP. It's wor- no, it's worse than Williams actually. It's like oh. Alpine, but someone stole their front wheels, and then you've got Honda in MotoGP. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, um, it's rough. But uh, what else is going on in the world of motorsports? Nothing. I guess. As far as I'm aware, then no British is... touring car. Oh, British touring car oh. has exclusive streaming rights on TikTok now. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that. completely forgot about that. So yeah. wait, exclusive? So they're not streaming anywhere else? They were, they were. It was exclusive, but I think ITV have exclusive rights to British Touring Car, and ITV are streaming on the ITV Sport TikTok account. Ah, uh, okay, that's unfortunate. Um, but it, I, if because the way and they do it on ITV is they have other things to show, so they don't show free practice. Yeah. If they show free practice on TikTok. Go, go in behavior. Yeah. Well, but, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's we'll also see. a very cheeky workaround to global restriction. Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously that's because ITV's be... not allowed in a load of places, but <laughs> stream on TikTok. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, I wonder if anything will come of that. You know, like um, yeah, people, people messing no, no, around. Yes. Uh, or well, well, governments British being like touring cars beyond irrelevant. <laughs> oh sure, sure, but ITV specifically, um, but. <sighs> On that note, I believe that is about it. We'll see you boys on the next episode of The Talk Show next week. You had something to say about any of the topics this week? Well, hop in the comments and um, <clears throat> talk about it. We'll see you boys. Uh, we'll see you, see what I did there? You, you saw what also, I did. like, comment, and subscribe, and share. Do yeah. all of that stuff in a bit. <laughs>